Flames and black smoke filled the air Friday morning after several houseboats caught fire at Potoka Lake. It's almost like a big house fire. I mean, because everything was kind of combined together. It was just that you couldn't get all the way around them to try to get water on to put them out. Several fire agencies and the state fire marshal's office responded to the Hoosier Hills Marina in Dubois County. The marina typically houses a lot of boats for the winter time. According to Indiana Conservation Officer Joe Haywood, marina owners and a few workers were there when the fire started and tried to push the boats out towards the lake to minimize the damage. They got to the boats and tried to uh, get boats out. Okay. So. And, and what that does is that creates a fire break. So, and, and you'll see that that last boat was saved because they pushed this big boat out. There's 11 boats that to got totally destroyed in the fire and there's 19 altogether. So eight of them had some damage to them. Firefighters say the cold temperatures and close proximity of the boats posed some issues in controlling the blaze, which took four hours to put out. They're dealing with ice on the water, uh, the ropes that have the, the boats tied, they're frozen. There's hot spots. They're just making sure that uh, they don't have fire come back up again. So um, they've got it contained, but they have to make sure that you don't have you know, something that rekindles later. No injuries were reported, but because of potential dangers to the firefighters on the lake, airboats and divers were brought in. Our main concern was the safety of the firefighters that are out there fighting the fire and, and can we get out there and, and help them if we need to. The focus now is investigating the cause and containing waste from the damaged boats. Fire officials say while the situation was bad, the collective effort of fire crews prevented it from being worse. Blessed we didn't have to actually you know, go out and save anybody. Um, you know, if, if, if we get out of this with just a loss of damage, we're pretty, pretty lucky. Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.